much for joining us today. We are excited to have you here with us again on an exec to exec to talk about the impact of technology and payments. So let's start at the very beginning. How does payments and technology come together? Why is technology so important and the impact of it? Yeah, um, the payments last landscape since its inception has been defined by technology. It, from the moment that, that you adopt the basically a transaction in paper, which is basically moving from, from the value of, a, of metal into the value of a paper to the moment that you do, you automate that process into the generation of a check. The moment that you do a, an, an immediate transfer or a transfer that are across days, it's all about the uh, opinion, all about the adoption of technologies. And this has been going on for the last 50 years or something like that. Uh, we see actually, uh, and, and traditionally, those systems tended to be extremely designed for basically performance and um, or persistency. They they never were designed to change constantly. Uh, they, they they really interesting bit in the last ten years is we see how the especially because of the changes in the customer expectations, but also the needs to of a market that is driving to move the money faster and to do interactions faster. Basically, you see how the payments landscape has been adopted to technology in a, in an expansive way. Uh, from the adoption to cloud, to the implementation of microservices, the adoption of blockchains technologies or DLCs, central bank digital currency. Basically, we are seeing a market that is bringing in technologies faster and faster, and it's all about changing the way that the interaction is doing, uh, done. Um, a company that, that, that has been working in the payments market for the last 20 years uh, used to think about technology as a service that provides a capability. Now these companies are, are basically technology companies that are leveraging those capabilities in a different way. They, they need to stop thinking about uh, uh, technology as a service, and they, they need to be thinking about technology as their product, basically. You mentioned cloud, microservices, all the various ways folks are doing it. AI, hot topic. How does AI fit into the payment space? AI yeah, is an interesting, it's an interesting technology. Um, the truth is, uh, payments has been doing AI for a long, long time. Um, uh, from the progressive type of machine learning based implementations that and um, predictive type of AI that has been applied in the risk management space, in the sanction screening space, and even in until money laundering space, those areas have been utilizing that type of technology for a long while. I think the question tends to be more where can we expect the, applica the application of more generative type of AI in the payments landscape? And uh, that is some, uh, that is when it start getting interesting because the truth is payments is a transactional process. It's about delivering the, the the movement of money in a really efficient and specific way, which means that that process needs to be extremely fast. We can we cannot put hindrances the way that it operates. So where are the, the potential opportunities in there? We, we see a. Uh, a lot of opportunities, for example, in the in the areas of remediation, remediation of uh, er errors in payments, a lot more opportunities in sanction screening and fraud, more utilization of AI technology. And the more the organizations that are less risk averse and want to explore more into new te technologies are starting to, to explore in the areas of engagement and investment payments with AI. Those are things that are you're seeing in the market coming in, I don't think, see them really happening at the moment. These are more the trendsetters. Uh, I think, in the, this, especially in the space of the remediation and especially in the fraud and, uh, and anti-money laundering space, I think that is where we see the utilization of AI uh, developing within the next four years. As folks are moving more into technology and becoming almost technology companies, how can you better, how can they structure themselves to better have the line of business teams, the business sides of the house, work better with the technology teams so that it can really move together? Yeah, we, th there is a uh, several paradigms that have been applied in the industry, to be honest. Uh, to be honest, in the, in the technology industry, we have always been applying new paradigms. 
agile methodologies, uh, automation, maximization of engagement, all of those paradigms change the way that the organizations operate and I aim to improve that relationship between the business and the technology. Uh, the latest that we are seeing that is becoming really trending in the market is a platform-led uh, organization, organization that is structured itself around the concept of a platform. But it's not, uh, not, don't think about it as a physical platform, think about it more as a vertical structure that business, technology, and even operations have to work together into it. It's all about delivering the value to the customer from a single platform that is uni unified and basically it's modular but also composable and brings the value faster to the organization. I think um, bringing the, the, the basically the, the, the customer needs as a forefront of those need of those of that change is really important and, and facilitating that streamlined communication between business and technology, to the point that it stopped being segregated, that will be a great step for organizations that are, that are looking to survive in the market as it is. That is great. Thank you so much for walking us through how technology fits into payments. We will be diving a little bit deeper on our next session and looking into the future and the future of payments. So thanks Thank for joining much. us and we'll chat with you soon. Thank you very much, Emily.